The parents of nine-year-old Kamari Harrison were back in court today, still fighting for justice for their son. Now, Kamari uh, was suspended, you'll remember, last year when a BB gun was seen in his house during virtual learning. Erica Ferrando says Attorney General Jeff Landry joined the parents in court today to hear arguments between the family and JP schools. It's nine-year-old Kamari Harrison's last day of school before summer. While he was in class, his parents were in court with Attorney General Jeff Landry by their side. It's been a lot. It's been overwhelming. The Woodmere Elementary School student was suspended six days for having a BB gun visible during a virtual class in September. The fourth grader said he was picking it up to move it. Since state lawmakers passed the Kamari Harrison Act that requires schools to have specific virtual learning discipline policies, Kamari's parents are fighting to have the suspension dropped from his record. I feel good and positive about today. In this federal case against Jefferson Parish Schools, attorney Chelsea Cusimano represents Harrison and another sixth grader in Jefferson Parish who was suspended for showing a BB gun in virtual class. It's just really disheartening that we're still fighting about this today. They need to clear his record at a minimum and certainly apologize to the family and the young man. Jefferson Parish Schools are countersuing over the Kamari Harrison Act while also hoping qualified immunity will dismiss claims against the school board. At the 11th hour, they brought forward cases and new arguments and, and new law um, to try to establish that they have rights, but at the end of the day, they are a creature of the state. The school board is confused that they are like, they, they are vested in the rights of a Louisiana citizen. Jefferson Parish Schools attorneys said in court Wednesday, a suspension for a weapon in school is standard policy, and those rules should apply for virtual learning too. I just hope that we get a positive outcome. Now the families and school board wait for the judge to issue a ruling, and that will likely take weeks. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Jefferson Parish Schools said they could not comment on pending litigation.